Hello, got ukulele.com back with another instrument review for you. It's a brand I'm pleased to welcome back to got a ukulele reviews. Uh, back in 2014, I looked at a model called the Baton Rouge V2C Concert. Um, I thought it was excellent, I thought it was cheap, but it was a great example of what can be done for little money with good quality laminate as opposed to poor quality. Um, so I was delighted when their UK distributor Stones Music asked me to take a look at another one. Um, this is a tenor, um, but this is the V2T8, um, eight meaning it's got eight strings. It's the first eight string ukulele on Got A Ukulele Reviews, um, which is interesting. I'll come on to that in a moment. Yeah, the V2 series, the Sun series of Baton Rouge, kind of mid-level in their, in their range, given away by the Sun designed by the sound hole there, which I'll also come on to in a moment. Um, but it's in the same family as that V2 concert. Um, all made from laminate mahogany, um, standard tenor scale, standard double bout, a um, couple of pieces book matched on the top, a couple of pieces on the sides. I can't tell if it's a couple of, I think it's one piece on the back, which has got a nice kind of shaped arch to it that follows the, um, it's hard to show on the photograph, really hard to show, but it is an arch and it follows the curve of the body. It's really nice. Um, no other decoration on it at all, like the other V2 series, but that's all right. Um, I don't really like blingy instruments, but it does have this sound hole rosette in the shape of the sun. Now, um, unlike some other brands who names should be obvious to you, who cover things in deep engraving and charge you more money for it, that's not really what Baton Rouge are doing. It's, it's very slight. It is engraved, but only very slightly. Um, so it's not weakening the wood, it's not overdone, it's subtle. Uh, I actually wish it would stand out a little bit more, but that's because the top laminates on this are pretty dark. Uh, it's quite a moody looking instrument, actually. Um, on to the bridge. We've got a standard rosewood tie bar bridge with an uncompensated new bone saddle on which the eight strings are tied. If you're a beginner to eight string ukuleles, uh, an eight string uke doesn't mean you've got eight individual notes or eight different strings to pick. There are eight individual strings, but they run in pairs uh, and they're designed to be played together as if there were four strings there, but you're doubling them up. I'll come on to the tuning in a moment. Uh, really nice looking inside, neat and tidy like the V2. It's spray painted black. I don't really know why, but I got a torch in there, notch curving, no glue spots. They're not trying to hide anything. I've never seen another instrument that spray paints them inside like that. And that laminate is relatively thin, making it really resonant. It's quite a deep body as well, if you look at it. Uh, these are good points for a laminate. Moving on to the neck. Um, it is mahogany. It's in three pieces. We've got a joint down here and a joint that you're not going to be able to spot up at the headstock. It's got a quite chunky heel which I'd rather was a bit slighter, but it is a deep body. Other than that, though, it's a C-shaped profile and a nut width of about 38 mil. So wider than your average, but of course there are extra strings to fit in here. Uh, topping that, rosewood fingerboard, nice and even in colour. No outward facing fret markers like the concert, but thankfully we do have them on the side with white dots. Um, that's good. I'm not bothered about outward facing fret markers. The concert looked a bit bare, but with eight strings, I don't think this looks bare at all. In fact, I think it would look fussy if there were more outward facing fret markers. And we got a fairly standard uh, 18 nickel silver frets with 14 to the body joint. And the edges are bound black to hide the fret ends. Uh, really nice, really nice neck. Frets are dressed really nicely. New bone nut holding those eight strings apart up to a really cool looking headstock. I do love slotted headstocks. You don't necessarily have to have a slotted headstock for an eight string, um, but it helps, I suppose. Um, I think that looks really classy. I like the shape because it's not a Martin shape. The Baton Rouge logo is kind of engraved in BR and it's faced in mahogany uh, like the body. So you can see the differential between the neck wood and the facing wood there and on the side. It's really classy. What's also really classy are these really nice tuners, rearward facing gold with white pearl buttons. They work really well. They've got a bit of decoration on them. Have a look at the written review. You'll see better photographs to look at them more closely. 
importantly they work they give the whole thing a really classy look um, finishing the deal Aquila strings um, what else um, I will just talk to you a moment about those paired tunings what we actually have are unison pairs so the E and the A strings are tuned exactly the same that's me plucking individual strings the uh, E string exactly the same but then at the G and the C string you've got them an octave apart so you've got a low G and a high G and you've got a low C and a high C so it kind of best of both worlds you've got highs and lows on the bassian notes and you've got pairs that ring on the E and the A that low G is wound I don't like wound low G strings but if it was a standard unwound low G string I suspect it would be a bit too fat to fit on the neck all of that retail one three nine pounds um, I've seen them on good ukulele specialists like Southern Ukulele store for a little bit less than that so that's a killer price not only is that a killer price for a decent quality uh, instrument full stop for an eight string I'm not aware of another eight string that is priced that low um, you know you, you're looking at twice that money really to get into eight string territory so this is an absolute killer price which would mean nothing at all if it didn't play very well thankfully like the v2c concert i was really impressed with it i think this has got more of a punch more of a tone to it um, than far more expensive instruments i think baton rouge have done it again uh, and this gets a high recommendation it's light it's balanced it's nice to hold that satin finish on the body is good it's all solid the action on this is absolutely perfect that's really important on an eight string because you're going to notice that intonation going out on the unison strings um, the action at the nut in particular is absolutely spot on. I've never seen a ukulele arrive with me on review where it's just so perfect as that. Maybe that was luck, I don't know, but it's very good. And to play it, it's it's not a high-end tone. I say this all the time about cheaper ukuleles. It's not a high-end tone. It's not trying to be. But I think there's something about this. This is certainly a better tone than the price would suggest. I think it's right up there in a comparison to some solid wood ukuleles that cost considerably more and certainly better than most other uh, similarly priced laminate ukuleles uh, that eight string shimmer really helps of course let's play the usual bits strings in different ways you don't have to have the lows and highs you can have them all unison pairs like a tarot patch would be uh, I like the low pairs on this one because it's adding more bass but obviously that natural jangle comes through as well it's also really easy to play uh, some people are scared of eight strings because you're having to fret down more strings it's noticeably a little bit different but not hugely you, you'd forget you were playing it and you can pick it
Uh, there's, a, there's a lot I like about this. I've given it the same sort of score as I gave the concert because I think the price really pushes up the score. I mean, that's not a lot of money for an eight string. It's not a cheap laminate. It shows what can be done with uh, with laminate wood. Do you know, I mean, I, I'd own this. Um, I would buy this, I would own it. It does make me wonder whether I'd spend more money on an eight string. Throw a pickup in this, it will sound great. Um, I really like this. That's a great smile on my face. Uh, for not a lot of money, you know, why would you not buy one of these? Baton Rouge V2 T8 Sun Tenor 8 string. Highly recommended by Got a Ukulele. Baton Rouge do it again. The fact that Baton Rouge appear in some uh, ukulele specialist stores that I really recommend, like Southern Ukulele Store, they don't stock rubbish. They stock these. Uh, and I think they stock these for a reason. Um, this isn't a beginner's ukulele. Yeah, it's a beginner's price. If you're a beginner, buy one of these. I think if you're a seasoned ukulele player, why wouldn't you buy one of these? It's made really well. It's got a great sound. It's got great volume. I like it a lot. Keep an eye on gotaukulele.com. I will try and wipe the grin off my face now, but I'll be back very soon with some more instrument reviews. Uh, some really nice ones coming up. See you very soon. Bye-bye.